Thank you so much for joining us on Plan B today. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks for having me. And you know, I'm actually so excited to be talking to you because this means that you've actually got a new album out. It feels like forever since we've had a new Nelly Furtado album. Yeah, it kind of has been forever. I mean, my last English album was six years ago. I have released um, an album since, but it was in Spanish. It's kind of romantic and a lot of love songs. And it's very like, had a lot of heart. It was like very fun. And it was a good experience. You know, it ended up winning uh, the Latin Grammy for Best Female Album. So it was quite a success. I was happy about that. But, you know, when it was all said and done, I was ready to um, sing in English again. I kind of purged the, you know, the Spanish stuff I wanted to get out and, and then ready to kind of feel refreshed again recording in English, which is exactly what happened. I ended up feeling like super excited and super happy in the studio for this album. So the album's got a lot of energy, this new one. The spirit and destructible. I'm really channeling some things, you know, fun things from the past. I mean, even on big hoops, I'm really channeling like my 14 year old self. Yeah. You know, growing up in a small town in Western Canada, but feeling like very liberated by listening to hip hop and R and B and leaving my house with my big hoops on and hanging out in front of the mall and already feeling famous, even though nobody knew who I was. <laughs> I love the title of your album, The Spirit Indestructible. How did you come up with that? Well, basically I read it in a book. I kind of read a short story about an artist who was working with youth that were wheelchair bound and pretty much paralyzed from the neck down. And he found this liberation in teaching them how to draw with their wheelchairs and how to create art and then eventually developing a program with a laser where they could create art from the movement of the wheelchair. And he had mentioned the spirit indestructible. He said the spirit indestructible and the words just kind of jumped out the page at me because that year, like this last year has been super impactful for me. I mean, I became an ambassador for Free the Children who do a lot of work um, got all over the world, but I've, I've been on trips to Africa, to Kenya specifically, into communities where basically just meeting like great like inspired young people who are you know getting education and young girls who are going to high school and just I don't know it was just so, so inspiring for me um, seeing these indestructible spirits basically um, and also then finding parallels maybe in things I was reading or it just yeah. became a big theme um, and I actually did a trailer for it and I, I've written some poetry to go with the album Oh, wow. And I'm going to be releasing it in some type of format, but I wrote a poem for the spirit industry. It's more like a prose sort of thing. Yeah. And I got an actor to read the lines, and we created a trailer for the album. And to go online, a spirit indestructible trailer one, and I wrote, you know, what he's saying. And it's basically painting pictures of the, the, the you know, the indestructible nature of um, the human spirit. So it's, it's just really inspired by that. That one song, especially, it's, it's the title track. It's called Spirit Indestructible. But, but ironically, it's also like quite a tune you can dance to, you know? Yeah, I so that's one thing I love about you, Nelly, that you can't be pe- pigeonholed. You know, people think, okay, she's going down this this track and then you release something like Man Eater and Promiscuous and you blow us away. Do you like to um, surprise people and do you like to mix it up for yourself? I do. I mean, for me, I really try to stay engaged. And yeah. for me, that means changing it up for sure. And really just trying new things with my voice, trying to say different things each time, not to say the same thing twice, yeah. you know, and I do it for people too. Like I really like kind of pushing people's buttons and I like kind of, I like making music that really has like a love-hate appeal. Like you either love it or you hate it, you know, you either love my voice or you hate my voice. Oh, you have a beautiful and voice. And I'm okay with that, you know what I mean? Because yeah. as long as you're moving people, I think it's yeah. good. Yeah. And you also like to work with others. I mean, your most popular, I suppose, collaboration to date's been with Timberland and JT. How much fun was it working with them? Oh, that was great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, see, that's part of the reason why I decided to, like, I think now, nowadays with, you know, all online world and digital media, I think the most important member of your crew has become like the videographer, the person yeah. who's with you filming every moment. And that's why I made such an effort to film the making of the album. Yeah. And that's why online I have all the YouTube videos of all my process of making the album. Cause when it's going to continue, the people can see the process and feel like they're a part of it. Because on Loose, we didn't film anything and I regretted it. And it wasn't because we intentionally didn't want to, just nobody really thought of it. Nobody thought, oh, let's film this guy. This could be quite important. And we didn't think that. So it ends with my memories in my brain, you know, and you yeah. know, I remember, you know, like hanging out with Justin in the studio and Timberland and having a good time. And It'll forever be in my heart that time 
But I think also for this album, I really wanted to capture it so yeah. I could have these videos that, you know, like look back on and laugh at because it really becomes really special, those times you share with the artist in the studio and the collaboration and the joy you feel because then it's only your, it's your little project. It's almost like when you're at home as a child and you're working on your project <laughs> and it's just yours and you're so proud of it it becomes a different thing when you hand it into the teacher and the teacher grades it right yeah yeah and i suppose nelly as well so so yeah it's special that time before yeah and this way your fans are feeling like they're part of your world as well they're feeling some sort of connection too which is as you were saying it's very important that they feel connected to your music and possibly to you too i do yeah i do think it's important but i think there's a boundary like for me i I never want to become so exposed that i feel like a reality show for me the reality media doesn't really suit me that well although at times you know my my life has had moments where I feel like I'm in a reality show (laughs) (laughs) but like um I have to kind of be careful that I don't like overexpose myself like I could like release a video about everything like I think it's good to let fans in like I've tried to explain to me before this way that it's kind of like if each with each album you reveal yourself a little bit more that's not a bad thing you know because I think as a fan myself of various music I think I appreciate that as a fan too like finding out a little bit more about an artist you know as they continue their career I think I think the fans deserve that you know yeah yeah I totally agree with you um the overexposure can be a bad thing yeah because you don't I mean there should be a little mystery I mean but I don't know I'm not really I mean I, I took a different approach with with the videos because I, I just kind of wanted to let people feel like they're um watching the trailer to a movie before it comes out yeah like you kind of feel like you already know the movie a little bit when the movie comes out so I want people to kind of feel that connection early on but the way I kind of keep balanced in terms of you know handling sort of what being in the spotlight and then having a normal life is I kind of I really try to keep the focus on the music yeah for me simplifying it that way makes it a lot easier for me i don't really i mean it's probably not good for marketing but i don't really see myself as a brand per se yeah well that's probably why your fans actually love you because you're not a brand you are all about the music and they feel connected to that too oh well i hope so i try really hard for that i want to keep the music sacred for the people that like to listen I have to let you go. Before I do, though, any plans for an Irish tour? Yes, definitely. Um, We're going to be doing mostly promotion, like all through the summer and one-off dates and different shows in different places. Yeah. Um, And then we hope to launch our European tour, I think, will be in January 2013. We might be doing some dates sooner than that, though, but we'll have to kind of keep checking my website for updates. Nelly, we look forward to it. Your album's out in June? June 19th. Thank you so much for spending time for us, with us and I look forward to seeing you in January 2013. Woohoo!